I kind of feel like my career took a strange left turn when I started writing about video games, right. um, which is really great in a lot of ways. I like writing about them, but at the same time, I, I like you say, I'm interested in a bunch of stuff. And uh, one of my favorite Latin quotes that I will not butcher by trying to say it in Latin is, uh, you know, Karl Marx's favorite quote was, nothing human is alien to me. And I really feel like that's something that resonates with me deeply. And I feel like some writers are interested in one thing that they just go back to over and over again. And some are just, for better or for worse, have this dilettantish determination to write about as much stuff as they can. And, and I'm definitely, I think, the second version. Like the book I'm working on now is about early Christianity, which <laughs> is about as severe a break from what I've written about up until this point as, right. as could be imagined. So. Um, I love writing books about stuff like this. I wrote a book about Vietnam, I wrote a book about Central Asia, I wrote a book about video games. I kind of feel like I'm just perpetually getting a master's degree in subjects that, that I'm interested in. And it's a really cool way to do it. Consequently, the problem is, is that you never really feel like you have mastery over a subject. You just feel like you're bathing in it for a little while. But I think that's okay too, because I think sometimes someone who's just passionately interested in something can bring insights to it that, that maybe people who d devote their lives to understanding something might um, not know how to communicate to a wider audience. Right. That's the whole fox hedgehog thing. There are different areas of your brain, obviously. And if you're right, so I worked on this big sci-fi shooter, a series that I love, but no one would confuse it with Ibsen, you know? And so it's really about I call it honoring the fictional reality of these characters. So you really have to, to t if you're gonna, you have to take it seriously, because if you don't take it seriously, then it's, then it's dumb. And so really trying to responsibly imagine your way into the mind of someone who has to use a chainsaw to cut in half a, a monster, but also being aware enough to like, also recognize how ridiculous that is. And, and, and capturing in the gloaming between those two things, those two impulses, this is ridiculous, this is real to the person, to the character that's experiencing it. Trying to f figure out where the, the, the Venn diagram part of that were to do like interesting writing in that space was actually super fascinating and one of the more challenging writerly things I've ever done. It, it, it was, writing for that game was a fascinating, ex a fascinating exercising, exercise in um, suppressing my own ego as an author and really letting the player's experience and letting the game speak to you. And my writing is just there to help that happen. My writing was not our writing, because I have a partner. Our writing was not there as the main event, and no one would ever play a shooter for the artfulness of individual lines. So it was really about recognizing um, that you're a utility player on an excellent baseball team and doing the little thing you've been asked to do as well as you can. Uh, I moved to uh, Portland, Oregon. I had, was sitting in an empty apartment waiting for my beloved uh, girlfriend to join me. She was on a later flight. So I had a day just to kill in this empty apartment and I fell into a Wikipedia hole where I'm watching videos from this strange thing I found on the internet. This is 2008 right. or 2009. And this is just when the room was starting to emerge. I started reading about it, did a Google search and found out that it was premiering that night in Portland a five minute walk away from this new apartment that I just moved into and I thought I have to go see this movie. I saw the movie and I literally called my editor at Harper's the next morning and it's like I'm writing about this movie. You guys can publish it or not, I'm writing about this. And I was just so fascinated by it as a cult cultural artifact that it, it really kind of took over my life for a little while and, and uh, I'm glad about it because it's, it's a strange, it's unlike any other piece of culture floating around out there right now.